Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the File LUT node. So we're going to jump into Fusion, and this is going to be a super quick one. So we've got some uh, B raw footage here, and let's pretend that our uh, client or somebody we're working with gave us a LUT that we need to use within our little VFX here. So we're going to need to add a File LUT node. But in this instance, since this is B-roll footage, we want to make sure we are working kind of in the same color space as everything else we want to bring in for our VFX, which is going to be linear sRGB. So we're going to hit shift space and add a uh, color space transform. So we can go ahead and transform our B-roll footage to our sRGB. So our input is going to be Blackmagic Design Gen 5. DaVinci Intermediate, and we're going to be output into Rec 709 and Linear. And I'm going to leave everything else the same. So after this, this is where we want to uh, do all of our little uh, VFX. So if I wanted it to add some, uh, say, text to this, let's go ahead and add it. And uh, let's say cows. So this is our amazing uh, VFX we're creating. And, uh, let's increase our size. So now we've got our awesome VFX we created for our client. And uh, we've got our cows. Now, depending on how your client gave you their LUTs, whether they need it to work with Rec. 709, and uh, I know for a fact that the LUT I'm going to be using on this is a B-RAW generated LUT. So it's going to work straight on B-RAW. So I need to take this color space transform add another one to uh, bring our color space back to the uh, da Vinci. So we're going to go from uh, Rec. 709 linear back to our black magic video gen five and da Vinci intermediate. So now if you notice both our uh, footage and our little VFX are brought back down to this color space. Then after this, we're going to add a shift space file LUT. And uh, what this file LUT node is going to do is just allow you to browse for your LUT that you're going to use. So let's say uh, we got this crazy LUT right here given to us. So we just loaded that LUT. Now on top of being able to select our LUT, we can uh, pre-gain or post-gain. And this means your pre-gain is going to uh, change the gain levels before your LUT is applied. So if any of your footage is, say, blown out or anything and you need to bring it down before that LUT starts crunching stuff, you can go ahead and do that pre-gain so we can bring it down. And then anything post-gain is going to uh, raise or lower after the LUT is applied. And right here under color space, we can change the uh, color space of our LUT. And this LUT is meant to be on RGB. But if you have LUTs that work in other color spaces like YUV, HLS, YIQ, or CMY, you can select those. But ours is RGB, so we'll leave it there. So there we go. We've got a new LUT applied using the file LUT node. 